But my real learnings from that World Cup was all about, you know, learning how to get through a tournament. We, we played really poorly the first half of that tournament and we just sort of snuck through each phase. I think our first game was against Scotland and that's when we didn't play very well. We snuck across the line in that game. Steve, you got the win you wanted, but how pleased are you with the Australian performance? Oh, I'd probably rate it four or five out of ten. The uh, feeling was, was atrocious in a word. Bowling not too bad and the batting you know, a bit iffy, so we've got a lot of work to do. New Zealand beat us early, I think might have been the second game down in Cardiff. There was a bit going on as well, there's a bit of talk around, you know, Steve, maybe he's being Steve Waugh's last series and if we didn't, all this sort of stuff. Six and a four off Warren's last two overs, puts a little bit more pressure on Stephen Moore, the captain. And, you know, we actually sat down as a group, I think we lost a game to Pakistan, I think it might have been hitting them. And we sat down in the change rooms in a, in a group and I'll never forget it, we sat down and we, we all basically said that we need to sort this out here and now. If there's any issue, if anyone's got any issues with anybody, and it doesn't matter if it's the captain and the coach, or me and the captain, or me and the coach, whatever, then we're going to talk, sit down here and talk about it now and get everything out in the open and, and move on. And it was at a meeting that probably went for a couple of hours, and there was a lot of stuff talked about. There's a lot of personal stuff talked about around the room as well. And, but that there was probably the turning point where the whole World Cup turned around. big load had been lifted off everyone's shoulders and whatever animosity there might have been was gone and we could just get on to trying to be world champions and as it turned out we progressed. He's got him! Yeah. India have lost the wicket, it's the big one. Stevens, you know, 120 or whatever it was against South Africa to get us home at Headingley uh, with his, once again, with his back to the wall and the chance that he he mightn't even play the next game sort of thing in, in the middle of the World Cup, that was that was pretty pretty amazing as well. That's out. Oh, he's, he's dropped, got, it. Oh, dropped, he's it. dropped it. it. I don't believe it. That's unbelievable. He was throwing it up. He thought he had it. It was a little lollipop. Well, this could change the course of this match. That's for sure. Oh, he hasn't waited for that. That's gone. That's six. One to win. Three balls to go. And that's it. Australia have won a vital match which has ensured that they will go through to the semi-finals and what's more, they'll play South Africa again. I mean, Warnie's bowling in the semi-final was, was incredible. And even when I think back now as well, there was a bit of talk then that that might have been Warnie's last one day international game if we had have lost that one. And, he, and you could just see how pumped and animated he was when he took those first few wickets. He got Gibbs out with a beauty, got Kanye soon after. Uh, and he was as animated as I'd ever seen him. You can see how much that meant to him. Straight to slip, he's got him, great little catch. Beautifully bowled by Shane Warne. This game is coming alive. And Paul Rifle dropped Lance Klusner on the fence at long on with two or three overs to go. And went straight down his throat, went through his hands and went over the rope for six. And I'm just thinking, oh, that's the game done. And I'm thinking, I'm never going to talk to you again, Pistol. Never, ever am I going to talk to you again. Klusner. Crash, that could be four. That's hit like a rocket, that's four. South Africa, the man who really has been in such sparkling form in this World Cup, he will have the job of securing one, one run for a famous victory for South Africa. Fleming, Kuzner on stride. There it is. They go for this will be out, surely. Ah, oh, it's out. It's going to be run out. Oh, that's it. South Africa out. Donald didn't run. I cannot believe it. Australia go into the World Cup final. The celebration we all had when it was a tied game. I can guarantee you that more than half the guys are in that huddle that didn't know if we were actually going through to the next stage or not. They were just that relieved that we'd not lost that game. I reckon even Stephen in the huddle said, does that mean we go through all them? If it was an unbelievable game of cricket, one that they obviously should have won, but we'll get to the final and, and play our best game for the tournament in the final against, um, against a very good Pakistan team. And, and we just happened to peak when we needed to. Oh, got him. What a moment. That is a brilliant catch. That was a sensational catch because the ball was really flying. This is where Australia are so good. Ah! Bolden on the back foot. Should have been forward. Oh dear. Oh, it's caught oh, it. What? Brilliant. Now that was a brilliant catch. Absolutely brilliant. Short ball banged in. What an outstanding catch this is from Ricky Ponting to bring to an end the Pakistan innings. Yeah, they've thoroughly deserved to win this World Cup. So the ground cleared now, and that's it. 
Australia are the World Cup champions of 1999. Well might they celebrate on the balcony here at Famous Lords. Joining the West Indies now as the teams which have won two World Cups, Ricky Ponting, getting the crowd going there.